What's going on guys? Welcome to Moonbill Garage. So let's let's just go ahead and address something right now. This this is why you wear safety glasses. I got a little metal in my eye, had to have it dug out. So you're gonna be forced to stare at this all video. All right, so with the weather getting nice out, a lot of projects are gonna be moving outside. So now is a perfect time to do a little preventive maintenance on your tools. You know, once or twice a year, it's probably a good idea to clean up your tools, take care of them. They're an investment. You don't wanna to have to replace them because you let them get dirty and rusty and they're just, they just don't work anymore. So one of the first things I like to do is I like to take some of these, these tub of towels and these things are great at just degreasing your tools, cleaning up the handles, getting some of the dirt and grime off of them and just kind of cleaning things up a little bit. Let me bring you in a little bit closer and I'll show you here on the workbench. All right, so here you can see I've been, been doing some cleaning, got these a lot cleaner than what they were, but here's ones I haven't touched yet. So here's just a pair of diagonal cutters. You can see just how much dirt and grime is built up on these handles. So take one of these tub of towels. These things, like I said, are great. They got just enough little surface texture to them to kind of help scrub some of that dirt and grime off there. Now, this is a little awkward. I'm working around my camera here, but you get the idea. You get in there, take one of these, and these things will take off. They're just a real mild cleaner. Like I said, they're hand wipes, so they're not gonna hurt any of your tools, but you can see just how much cleaner that is already, and it's only been a couple of seconds. I mean, there you can see a good amount of grime right there. The tub of towels takes that right off and just cleans them up and gets gets them clean. I mean, it just takes a lot of that, you know, grease and oil and hand grime and everything else. So a little bit of time doing a little general wipe down of your tools will get them cleaned up. This still needs work, obviously, but this is a set of pliers that I've been working on. I mean, they're not new looking, but they're a lot cleaner than what they were. A lot of that grime is off there. So once that's done, what I like to do is I'd like to take some of this ballast all, just an all purpose lubricant. I like to add it to one of these bottles here to this long needle applicator. And this is perfect for getting down inside. Let's see if I can focus here. It's perfect for getting down and applying just a little bit of lube down to some of the joints here. I've already, I actually had recorded this earlier, but I didn't have my mic on, so I could do it all over again. So you apply some of that lube in there, move it around, it gets down inside those joints and really just gives it, you know, helps prevent some rust buildup, lubes it up, and it'll keep your tools working the way they were meant to work for years. Eyeball won't stop tearing. All right, another thing I like to do, and it really applies to like vice grips. I mean, vice grips, because of the amount of pressure that you're applying to a nut or a bolt with these things, the jaws tend to get really chewed up. I mean, any pair of pliers will get their jaws chewed up eventually, but vice grips tend to happen a lot more. What I like to do with these, I like to take one of these, you know, triangle files. And this, I like to get down in there and just get down inside the teeth and kind of clean them up just you know file off some of that some of that so the teeth material that is kind of like kind of rolled over kind of smashed in a bit and it just helps revive some of the tooth texture i don't try to sharpen the teeth you know i'm just taking off some of that material that is maybe mushroomed in a little bit so let me kind of bring you in i've already worked on this like i said i was recording this and then realized my mic wasn't on so I've already done a lot of this. But let me bring you in and I'll show you what I mean. So, I mean, you can see these are nice and bright. They're, pr they're pretty cleaned up already. But just come in here with a file. Again, I'm working around my camera so it's a little awkward. I just come in here and I'll spend some time cleaning up those teeth, taking off some of that material that maybe mushroomed over a little bit. Because I'm doing this in an awkward position. A lot of times I would just set this down on the bench and kind of work at it. I'm trying to do this on an angle where you guys can see it. And just come through here 
clean up the teeth. I'm not trying to sharpen the teeth. I'm not trying to, you know, cut new teeth or anything like that. Just cleaning them up so that they'll have a better bite the next time I need to use them. Like I said, you can already see, you can see they're already shiny because I already did this, but I'll actually set them on the bench so I can get a little bit, a little bit of pressure on them and just clean these things up. And that's really it guys. I mean, a little bit of preventive maintenance really does go a long way. Perfect example, this is an original Leatherman. I've had this thing 30 years now. It's been all over the world with me. And this thing still works as good, if not better, than the day it was new. Everything opens easily. I mean, it's got a little bit of like surface rust on it, but there's nothing down inside any of the joints to prevent this thing from working. A little bit of preventive maintenance will keep your tools lasting you a lifetime. Appreciate you for watching. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you on the next one.